Hi guys, it's Kat here with Barracuda Kayaks. The Kathmandu Coast to Coast coming up this weekend and then God's Own in a couple more weeks after that. I've got a few tips to share with you about how to get the most out of your Barracuda on race day. So first up there's a bit of an orientation with a few of the components on the deck. Um, a lot of you will already be familiar with how everything works on your boat but there'll be a few of you that might be seeing your boat for the first time quite close to race day if you're hiring one. So um, I'll just give you a quick tour and explain to you how to use all the bits and pieces that you will come across on your Barracuda kayak so you know exactly what you're doing when you need it. So up here at the bow of the boat we've got the front hatch and that's held on with four bungees and underneath both the front hatch and the rear hatch is a neoprene. So that just attaches around the top of the hatch rim like this it goes on pretty much exactly the same way that your spray deck does. Before you paddle, ensure that both your front and rear hatch neoprenes are properly on under the hatch covers so that your boat is fully watertight. Attach your hatch neoprenes just as you would your spray deck, starting at the back and working your way forward to form a seal with the elastic right round the edge of the hatch. It can be easier to do this with your teammate. So behind that front hatch is your front bungee and this little groove here in the deck is for holding your paddle in place while you're hopping in and out of the boat or if you need to free your hands up for something while you're on the water. The paddle holder is really easy to use, just simply place the paddle into the groove and then pull the bungee over and lock it in behind the lug and then your paddle is nice and secure and you've got your hands free to do spray deck up or to grab some food or drink and also the blades of your paddle are nice and clear of the water. Behind each of the cockpits there is a further paddle holder. Um, you can use this to store your paddle while you're transporting the kayak around. There is the second and larger hatch at the rear of the kayak and then right down at the business end is the rudder. If you want some further tips on getting the most out of your rudder and making sure that you're deploying it and locking it down properly, check out the other videos on the Barracuda Facebook page or on the Barracuda website. We're just taking a quick look inside the front cockpit. Um, this is the pedals that are used for steering and there's a similar set of pedals in the rear. There's also a glove box just under the cockpit rim. You can use this to store extra bits of food or maybe a drink bottle or anything that you might need to have handy during the so race. When you're in the mad rush of excitement to hop into your boat um, for whichever leg of the race that you are about to embark on, it just take, it pays to take a couple of seconds to ensure that you've got the boat set up properly and yourself set up properly, whether that's um, before you go through the transition before the race or um, in the transition during the race just to be sure that um, you know you might be in the boat for quite a few hours so you really want it to be in tip-top working condition and fitted out just right for you for your race. Adjusting the foot pegs is really easy it's the same system used in the front and the rear of the boat basically you just want to reach behind the pedal and there's a little lever which you depress in towards the foot pedal itself and then slide the rudder pedal up and down the track and then when you've got it to the required distance away from where you want it to be, you just make sure that that little tab there has locked into the hole and it'll be nice and secure and ready for you to use. Something that's easy to rush over is um, making sure that your spray deck's on properly. So when you um, run into transition and um, pull that spray deck up, make sure you've got it up really nice and high up your chest. Um, as far as is practical so that any wash that's coming over the boat or up the deck isn't going to be so likely to head down inside your spray deck and get into the cockpit with you. Um, you obviously might have a paddle jacket and definitely your life jacket over the top so that'll help to keep everything nice and watertight around your midriff as well. The thing that Barracuda gets a few questions about is the drink system. And there's a few options that you've got. There's obviously the bladder and the PFD option which is what a lot of people will do. Um, the other thing that you can think about is having the bladder inside the boat with you here. Some people like to have it between their legs. The other option is threading it under the bungees on the deck in front of you. Um, if you do that, I might suggest maybe having an extra cord just securing that bladder onto the boat so that if a big wave comes or you do end up in the water, then um, it's not, you're not going to lose your nutrition and your hydration. 
Other options for drink systems include having some sort of scoop or cup that you can just dip into the river or chucking some drink bottles into that little glove box that's in the front of the cockpit there. Race day for coast to coast and God's Own is coming around super fast so Barracuda Kayaks would like to wish all of the athletes who are going to be raging their way around the countryside all the very best for the upcoming races. Be safe, ask any questions you might have about the Barracuda Kayaks you're using on race day and remember to have a blast.